Okay, so let's do some October CMS stuff for a change for a little bit, at least in this episode. And this has been an episode that I've been trying to create a long time ago, but I just didn't get to it. So it's about reordering your records. Uh, that is a functionality that comes out of the box with October, but it seems uh, from my channel, I got a lot of questions about it. And also on the internet, I saw that people have a lot of trouble implementing it. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can implement that reorder functionality to your October CMS site. Okay, so first of all, what you need is some type of a field by which October can sort your records. So let's go to Builder. And then I'm going to choose my Movies plugin. And you have to go to Watch Learn Movies, right? Or whatever it's called for you. And you need to add another column. So that column is going to be called Sort Order. And it's going to be an integer. The length is going to be 10 and you can set the default to be one. But as you will see later on, this is not going to be much of use to us. So we are going to have to uh, add those default values uh, in some other way. But for now, just leave it to be one and click save. Okay, so now we added this. Now, next thing you need to do, you need to go to your plugins. So you go to plugins, watch, learn, or whatever they're called uh, on your site. You go to movies and you check your controllers. So I'm going to go to the movies controller and I'm going to check it. What I'm looking for here. And if you set your site up with builder, you're probably going to get this out of the box. But if you don't, uh, then you need to add this backend behavior reorder controller. And also you need to add this config reorder YML file. After that, we are going to go to our models and go to the movie model. And this is very important. So you need to add a sortable trait right here. And to do that, uh, you just do this. So you just add traits sortable. Great. Now, if we go to our backend and go to our movies, as you can see, we still don't have this reorder your records button. Now we are going to add it. Now, before we do this, I just need to make a note about it, uh, because when you create your controllers with Builder, you should get this button out of the box. For some reason, I'm not getting it. So if you are already getting that reorder button right here, then you're great, right? You're good to go. But if you don't, just follow what I do next. So now you want to go to your controllers, movies, and then you want to search for this list toolbar.html file. As you can see, I have some things in it. So I have a, a button to delete movies. I have a button to create movies, but I don't have a button to reorder movies. So we want to add that button right now. And to add it, you just add this piece of code. Of course, this is going to be available for you on GitHub. So you can paste it from there. So I'm just going to add and another a tag right here, which is going to go to movies, movies, uh, reorder. And when we click it, we should get that reorder interface for our movies. So we want to save this and uh, let's check it out in the browser. So if I refresh this page right now, as you can see, now I have this reorder records. However, as you will see, this will not work just yet. Uh, there is another thing we need to do. So if you have been following my videos, uh, you know that we learned about something called PHP block. So if I go to my code editor and now let's go to our theme. So I'm in my themes. My theme is called Olympus and I'm want to search for this movies.htm. And in here, as you can see, we are getting all of the movies and we are ordering them by year in descending order. And we are also paginating them. So this does not work for us because we don't want to order them by year. We want to order them by sort order and we want to order them in ascending fashion, right? So we are just going to do sort order right here. And also it's going to be ASC. 
So we are going to sort, uh, we are going to order our movies by that sort order field that we added at the beginning of this video. Uh, if you don't know what this is, check my episode about PHP block. It's going to be much clearer to you then. So we are just uh, calling all of our movies. We are ordering them by sort order in ascending fashion, and then we are paginating them because we want to so we want to order those movies on this page, right? So if I go to my October movies page and go to movies, so these are all of our movies with pagination and so on. So here uh, we want to uh, be able to sort this however we like. So for example, maybe we don't want Inception to be on the first place, but we want it to be on the second place. Okay, so we did that, but as you will see now, uh, this still doesn't work. But before we do that, uh, let me just go to Builder again. I'm going to go to Models and then to From Movie, we are going to go to Columns and I'm going to add another column right here. And that column is going to be called sort order. And it's going to be a number and it's going to be sortable. This is very important. So if I save this and now if I go to my movies, as you can see, we have sort order and sort order for all of our movies is one. Right, so if I click this, it's always going to give me the same thing. So we don't want all of our, our movies to have exact same sort order because then reordering our records will not work. So let's test it out, for example. So if I go to reorder records and I push this movie above in Inception, so this is already saved. But if I go right here, refresh this, as you can see, nothing is happening. So we now need a way to populate this sort order field with actual numbers, right? Uh, now, if you are just starting your site, you won't need to do this because it's going to uh, do that automatically for you. But in our case, we already have a lot of movies. So we need to find a way to populate these fields to go from zero to whatever number of movies that we have. And we are going to be doing that right now. Now, if you have been watching my October CMS series, you will probably know about this. But what we are going to be doing now is we are going to populate our sort order fields uh, through our route uh, with a Faker plugin. Uh, we already did something like this in one of the previous episodes. I'm going to link it in the cards. Uh, but what you need to know is this. So if I go right here and we are going to go to our plugins to our watch learn plugin. Let me just close all of this so that you have a better view. So I'm going to go to movies. And now here I have this routes.php file. And if you go to that file, as I said, we already used that file in one of the previous episodes. We populated our movies so that we need, don't need to create them by hand. We also seeded our actors. And as you can see, we have this populate movies route uh, in which we are going through all the movies and just adding, re adding random genres to it and also created that published other dates and so on. So what we wanna do here is we wanna add another line of code, which is going to just add sort order number to our movies. And to do that, first of all, uh, this is going to be index because we will be needing index for our movies. And then this is going to be movie. Okay. And here I'm just going to add movie sort order to be index. Okay. Now save this. And now if we go to our browser, and here go to populate movies. Now October is going to populate those sort order fields for us, as you can see right here. So this one is zero, this one is one, this one is two and so on. Great. So we populated them. Now if we go here and refresh this, you can also see those sort orders right here. And we are also ordering our list by sort order. 
So now if I go to my uh, reorder records, and for example, I don't want inception to be on the spot number one, I can just pull this up. This has been saved automatically. And now if I refresh this page, as you can see, now inceptions, uh, inception movie is on position number two. And that's about it. This is how you get your reorder functionality to work. So remember two things uh, which are very important. You need to add sort order field to your database because without it, this won't work. And also you need to fill those fields with actual numbers so that the October knows how to sort your movies or whatever other records you have. Okay, so this has been it for this video. Remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.